So a day after New Year's, New Year's, uh, the, what, January 1st, 2018, of course, uh, many people talk about uh, resolutions, right? Resolutions. We were at, uh, <clears throat> some good friends of ours invited us over for dinner last night and uh, our families were together for uh, New Year's Eve. We had a fire and some fireworks. Had a, had a nice time and we were talking. Um, uh, uh, my friend's wife was saying about something about, uh, she knows the folks that have the local gym down in town, about how January, February, and March are the, are the uh, busiest times busiest times for the gym industry because so many of us think, okay, you know, we could do a little bit better this year. And, and one, of the, one of the things that always comes up is, is to, to take better care of ourselves, of course, to get, to get fit. So I thought I'd talk about New Year's resolutions uh, for, for, for a little bit. Um, I, I, like you, have, have, have not had uh, good luck with New Year's resolutions. <laughs> I mean, uh, usually, uh, I think I'm good for about four, maybe three weeks, three or four weeks or so before they kind of go by the wayside. Um, but one thing, one thing that I did want to talk about that I, I am going to try to, uh, to, to really change in my life, um, and I, I'm saying this publicly so that uh, I have some accountability here, uh, is just some, to spend some more time with, um, uh, or better, better time with my son Jack. So uh, when he was little, uh, we, we had uh, a lot of things in common uh, that we enjoyed doing together. We, we you know we did played Legos and and a lot of those those type of things and and it was uh, we all, seemed like we always had <clears throat> we always had something that we could kind of do. As he's gotten older now, you know he's almost thirteen now. He's he's certainly becoming his own person with his own personality and his own interests, and those are not necessarily uh, my interests. And I don't, um, I don't, I don't have an issue with that. I don't expect him to be a clone or a, or a copy of me. And the fact that he has a different interest to me, I, I think, is wonderful. And I, and I think it's, it's the way it had ought to be. However, uh, with that being said, um, oh, it, it's as he gets older, I find it increasingly difficult um, to to have things that we can uh, do together that we both really enjoy. I mean, there, he has his things that he likes to do, and, and I will participate with that. But sometimes, you know, my mind is not really there because it's not a great interest to me. And I notice that I know that he's the same way. Uh, and I, I'll, I'll bring him out, and of course, he needs to learn these skills and to work in the wood shop and to work in the forest and do all those things. But it's not his favorite thing to do, and he will do them, and he does, and we do them as a family. Uh, but his mind and, and is not into it uh, as much as as mine as well. So I, I, thought, I thought long and hard about this. What it, It's really important for us to have something that we both mutually really enjoy, um, that we can do together, that we both want to be, that we're engaged, that we can create memories for the last few years that he's here with us. Um, and so I thought, I've been thinking about this for a long, long time. You know, what is it that, that we could do um, that um, not only would we both enjoy, but also would kind of um, usher him into manhood um, and to give him some sense of accomplishment um, and make that transition away from from his mother I'm not pulling his I'm not saying that well, you know what I'm saying but there's a time in a boy's life when he needs to understand you know to make that transition from childhood to to, to manhood that we're greatly greatly lacking in this country uh, when you, you read about other cultures um, uh, all through history, there was a defining moment in a boy's life where they left the the left the village, maybe with under the care of the women, and they became uh, a member of, of the, the men that made that transition. And it was very distinct. You knew at age thirteen, and the Jewish culture has it. The, many of the African cultures have it. The Native American cultures had it. You knew that you had to accomplish this. Maybe it was a, an act of courage, or 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 what have you, but when you accomplish this, that, that you made that flip, and it made that flip in your mind. Uh, our culture, very sadly, doesn't seem to really have that by and large. Um, and so what we have here is we have a bunch of, it's really sad, We but what I would call man boys running around that are in their 30s and, and our fathers themselves, many of them, that still haven't made that transition. They haven't had that defining moment in their life uh, where they know, and, and that's why you see um, you know, to them spending all their spare time in video games and, and doing things that, that um, 
I'm talking to an excess. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with video games. I play video games with Jack. But when it becomes, it gets to the point where, as you know, as Paul tells us, you know, when I when I re realized I was a man, I put away these childish things. It's time to time to make some changes. Uh, if you have a, a mortgage and a family uh, and you're raising kids, it's time for you to step away from those things and, and get your priorities focused. Um, but not having ever knowing in your life or maybe not even having a man in your life or a father who's ran out to t tell you when you made that transition, they're, they're stuck in this, in this no man's land, in this wasteland, uh, and it's really sad. And I don't want Jack to fall into that. So what we decided to do, uh, Mrs. W and I, is uh, we bought Jack for for uh, Christmas, we bought him a dirt bike. And uh, we have had so much fun with that. And I used to dirt bike, uh, our whole, we had dirt bikes for our family, right? But when Jack was this little, and then as, uh, you know, when he was born, it just wasn't practical, you know, to have little kids and, and to do that. And I had obligations as a, as a husband and a father, and I couldn't, you know, it was just something that was just unpractical, but I've always missed it and wanted to get back to it. And so uh, Jack and I the other day, you know, he's, it, it's really fun. It's been a, a real change for us because it's rare has the time been where when I'm working in the shop or working on videos that he comes out and, and wants to, to be a part of something or, or is excited about it. And yesterday when he came out after uh, uh, getting his dirt bike and, and uh, he had both the helmets in his hand, he had my helmet and, uh, and his helmet. And, and I was working, I was working on this video. That's why this is day two and said, hey, Papa, let's go out and ride bikes. And uh, I'm like, yeah, absolutely. N none of these videos, none of this work or any of this stuff for these house projects are more important than for us to go out and, and to do this for a while. And I thought, you know, it might be, you know, half hour, 45 minutes or so. And, and Jack's riding his new dirt bike and, and uh, I, I'm just riding his old 90 quad. You know, it's really funny. We have a racetrack set out, set out down there uh, that we go around. And, and what we have to do, because he's so much faster than me, you know, he's got, a, he's got a Honda 125 and I'm riding this little tiny 90 that my dad bought for him when he was just little. Uh, so, so we have to do a race of, of um, 12 laps and, and how many times he can, see how many times he can lap me. <laughs> so, but it was, it was really wonderful and I'm super excited because it was a hard thing to find something that was um, that we both really really enjoyed anyway we were down there uh, for four hours four hours riding I have got <laughs> I've got calluses on my on my hands I didn't wear my gloves that we had both of us are so sore that we can't even go down we want to go back and ride today but we're so stiff and sore that we're we just can't even do it so I, I was really really happy uh, to do this and um, and it was a it was a great decision. So I'm gonna I, I gotta get myself a dirt bike now. So I'm kind of on the on the lookout for one of those and uh, pick something up that, that fits me that I'm not riding that little tiny ninety. It's just a it's a not a, not not a, not ideal. So uh, I'll, we'll we'll do some videos on that on that in the future. And um, um, we're gonna do some really great adventures this uh, this spring. Um, we have an amazing dirt biking around here. So I guess that's it. I don't really know what to say. So New Year's resolutions. Uh, I guess the only one that I'm going to make is I'm going to make a, a real strong effort um, to put, uh, to, to keep the priorities straight on, on what's most important and that's um, family. And, and especially um, spending chat time with Jack and preparing him for that release out, out into the world. Um, and uh, hopefully when he looks back on his family that he'll, He'll always feel welcome here and and look back on it fondly um, that would be my that would be my number one goal so all right thanks for watching have a happy new year's day enjoy your day off if you have it and uh, we'll get back to the the, the next part of the sled um, uh, next video so thanks for watching we'll see you uh, see you guys later